Hey guys, Cart from CQB Radio. Thanks for checking out the review. Today we're looking at an item I got from Airsoft Master. This is the Condor Battle Belt. And this is going to run you about 15 bucks over on their website. It does come in tan, obviously, and then also black, ACU, and OD. And uh, it's a really nice item for not a lot of money. You add this to a duty belt or a riggers belt, and you will have a nice setup. So let's look at this guy a little bit more in depth. First up, just a quick note about Condor. I wanted to let you know that this item is NTOA approved, which is National Tactical Officers Association. And basically that means that police officers, law enforcement, uh, it's approved for them to use this type of item. So obviously it's going to be good for airsofters as well. So uh, let's break this guy down a little bit. Um, it's basically a belt, and I'll show you what it looks like when you put it on. That You're going to wrap around your entire body, and what you're going to do is you're going to run a duty belt through here, and then all the way down the other end, and then out the other end here, and that's actually what's going to be clicked together with the buckle. And then on all the molly here, you can obviously run all kinds of pouches and things. I'll show you a radio pouch and a Serpa, and I'll also put a, uh, a um, M4 uh, mag holder on there as well. Now, there's a couple things to know about it. Obviously, lots of molly here. This is the part that'll go on your back, and then this will part that'll go on to your uh, right side. You also have these two little cutouts here, one here, and then one down here as well. So if you're running your duty belt through there and you want to put a drop leg on either side, you can do that, and it actually gives you room to run it through. So flip this guy over. Let me just turn it around real quick. Lots of nice padding here, and it's also got this rubberized uh, texture here, and that's to keep it from slipping when it's actually on you, so there's four different spots where it has that. And then you can see that it has these, um, these D-rings, and they're one, two, three, and then four, and you can actually run a harness, so you can have a harness that goes over your shoulders to keep this guy nice and secure, even more secure than just having the, uh, the battle belt on. All right, let me put some uh, items on this guy, and then you can see what it looks like. So here's an example of how you might set up your riggers belt. You can see over on this side I got my fast mag and then I've got back here I got a radio pouch and over on this side I've got my 1911 uh, in my Serpa and I got this as a, a duty belt that's running through the sky. You can run a riggers belt as well. Uh, lots of molly here if I wanted to run multiple fast mags here down the side I could do that as well. In the back every once in a while I'll run a deployment pack back here. So a deployment bag you know just to keep extra um, extra gear in you know maybe an extra set of glasses, some food, whatever it might be. Um, generally, people run these you know, right on their hips. That's where it's supposed to go. You can run it a little bit higher as well, depending on what's comfortable for you. And like I said, there's lots of different options when it comes to the belt. So this is, this is something I really like because it keeps my hands free and I'm not reaching down. I don't like a lot of subload. I don't like to have to reach down to get stuff. So it's nice to have everything right here. And if you want to run something light um, on your chest, then you can have extra mags here, extra things. Uh, you know, on the battle belt as well. One thing I really like about this guy is the diversity of options that it offers you. So if you have gear that can attach to molly webbing, almost anything can be put onto this belt. So for 15 bucks, you get the belt, spend a little bit more money to get that duty belt or the riggers belt that runs through it, and then you're good to go. So if you want to take some weight, say, off your chest or off your subload when you're out there, here's a good option, very comfortable. It's over at Airsoft Master. The link is down below. This is Cart from CQB Radio signing off. Keep on firing.